Hi, everybody. Welcome to K&B Mukbang. I'm Brett, and this is... Kate. This is the food show. The food show. Yeah. Eating show. We like to get together and do this once a week, eat some delicious food, and let you guys experience it with us. So today, on this episode, episode two... Yep. We've got a family favorite that Kate has masterfully made. She normally does. She made some buffalo wings. And there's a lot of them. And they look... And there's a lot of them. Yeah. They, they there's look, always a lot. They look amazing. I know they're going to taste amazing. Uh, we also got... I got blue cheese. Kate has... Ranch. Because she sucks. We got celery. And Kate, why don't you explain to them what you made over here? Um, It's like a cheesecake cupcake. Thing, but it's keto, so it's only I want to say one and a half carbs. So it's for a the whole thing keto friendly, and of course I got my Desani sparkling water. I got some black cherry going on. Water, and I'm ready to do this thing. Let's go. I think they're like mild. Well, no, I think they're medium. So mm. <clears throat> Look at that. You gotta have the blue cheese. You gotta have it. Mm. What if they run out? What would you do? Kill somebody. Ranch is good. It depends on how I'm feeling on the that day. I didn't ask you when we first got together. I always ask that question. Are you a blue cheese or a ranch girl? What does it matter? As long as you can cook it, I'm fine. Yeah. Mmm. It's better than restaurant ones. It sure is. Mmm. You got mung fruit in here? Tiny bit. You can taste it? Tell them what mung fruit is. And please forgive our, our one-year-old in the background. She's in her room screaming and playing. What is mung fruit? It's, um, it's an alternative sweetener instead of sugar. Put some more healthy sugar, I guess you would call it. Your body can't really can't digest, digest it. it, so it just pushes it out. Mmm. Not too hot. Delicious. Would you do this in front of a studio audience? Probably all be looking hungry and like eyeing your food and stuff. Mmm. People at home can eat with us. Follow us on Twitter at KB Mukbang, and that way you'll know every week what we're going to be eating on that week. You have and you can join us three or four or five days in advance, so that way you can prepare. We already got next week's planned. Yeah, we were talking about it. I love food. You only weigh what, 110 pounds, 109 pounds? Still love food. Got it going on, girl. Can't wait till I weigh 109 pounds. Thirty-eight pounds down since May 9th. And um uh, feeling really good. I dropped that. Oh, these are everybody good. loves these wings, so like even our one year old loves them. Our one year old like, sounds like she's eating them. For um like, the kids get a birthday dinner. They get to pick what they want for dinner. And every year, all of them always say, wings I want hot wings. Or? Oh, yeah. Our middle child, she always says, um, steak. steak. And she gets it, too. She loves steak. And some onions on it. Some uh, mushrooms, portobello mushrooms sauteed in there. Some green peppers. Green peppers. Man. Mm. Drip some of my blue cheese on my table. Uh oh! Party fall. Mm. 
I think I'm gonna go for some water. This is my first meal of the day, yours too, right? Mm-hmm. And it's uh it's late. It's seven thirty. Well I usually pass during the day anyways. I eat fast during the day. Do you? What do you eat? Almonds. Mmm. We need to buy some more of those. They're so good. Mmm. Habanero. Habanero. What was it? Like salted. Habanero barbecue. Barbecue. Mm hmm Two grams per serving. 28 almonds. Two grams of carbs. So good. I got sauce all over my face. I guess you're supposed I'll leave to. You alone, I'll leave you alone this week. Oh, God. Mm. Now, when you order wings from restaurants or like takeout, you always tell them to make them extra, like, wet. Like, is that how this is? Yes, it is. I like freaky wings. Mm. It's not like the wings have been sitting in the sauce for two hours mm -hmm. in a warmer somewhere. This is perfect. Yeah. Mm. I don't really like dry wings either. I used to not even like hot wings until recently. Nobody's perfect, dude. I actually used to not like a lot of food. Yeah? That's how I met you. Sometimes you just gotta take a chance and put it in your mouth. Ah. Mmm. I think you've outdone yourself. <laughs> I make really good lemon pepper wings too, but I wanna try teriyaki wings. Next. You gotta come up with a keto. I don't know. How are you liking living the ketogenic lifestyle? It's easy. A lot of people say it's so hard to give up bread and pasta. But that's like, those are my biggest things, right? Like, I love pasta. I love just bread and butter. And mm. it was really easy. Like, after maybe a week, week and a half. What's bread? What's bread? You know, no, I made bread. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I made one carb, a slice bread. It was actually really good. It was good. really good. Then I failed and tried to turn it into a um, a dessert and it didn't work. I made French toast out of it though and it worked fine. It was super good. Mmm. Gotta have a little bit of crunch, that's what they say, right? Mm hmm. You ain't got a big ass cucumber to bite on. A cucumber? So recently we watched a really interesting movie. And I've gradually become infatuated with it. And I figured we'd kind of talk about it. No spoilers. Mmm. The movie's called No Spoilers, and I can't tell you anything about it. Mum's the word. Potato, tomato. Potato, tomato. Um, the movie's called Upgrade, and it was directed by the guy who made the original Saw. The guy that was in it, right? Mm-hmm. Um, it's just mind-blowing how incredible that film was. One of our favorite YouTubers, Grace Randolph. Um, we need to get her to review it. From Beyond the Trailer. I saw her talk about it until I watched it. It's about a slightly dystopian future where children scream and explode into confetti. But no, it's a future where technology is taking over. Mm-hmm. Well, mm. everything's run by technology. And this guy named Gray... 
finds himself in a position where he's paralyzed and someone walks into his his life and offers him a chance to regain his mobility through technology. My God. And it's all downhill from there. It's dreaming, so I let a co-worker named Leslie uh, and her boyfriend Alex, they watched it. They called me up, left the craziest <laughs> voicemail, and, um... Wow, how awesome it was. Yeah. Harley! It's not a perfect movie. Hmm? And it's kind of predictable in some places, but... No, it's not. Action is... You know it's action, but even well, when the action happens, it catches you off guard. There's tons of action. Not predictable, but like... You've seen that type of movie before. But, I don't know, but not done quite as well. Mmm. I really love your cooking. These are kind of hot. Hmm? My lips hurt. That means you're getting somewhere. It means mm. it's hot. Mm. You gotta get all the meat. You ever seen a milk bone before? I do. You gotta get the meat like um, Matt Stoney. Alright, pushes it up. One swipe. To speed eat the way he does. Mm. And be skinny. You can wear your shirt. And the guy will sit and eat 65 tacos. Mm. I love tacos. Who doesn't love tacos? I think Mexican food might be my favorite. Mm. I wish the Greek made more than just damn euros. I do, you just don't know about it. Look, uh, Italian food used to be up there. You know, it's some of my favorite, but since we've been on the keto diet, it's like I can't have pasta. I'll just have one meatball. Yeah, just a meatball and some mozzarella. Pisses me off. I wonder what is like the equivalent to Italian cuisine or and uh, Mexican cuisine for Africa. How come they don't have African restaurants? They have Jamaican ones. I said Africa. Well, they do. You just don't know about it. I want to know. Walk in there and get a straw and stick it into a hole and pull out all these ants. I just saw that yesterday. (laughs) For real? I know. It was like a lady... And she had, like, marshmallow on a pretzel stick, and then they rolled it in ants. And then she was just eating it. What the hell are you watching? It was street food in, like, a different country. I'm not going to swear. I thought you were going to say street fire. <laughs> it was street food. And that's what they did. They had a pretzel stick, put marshmallow all over it, and then rolled it in black ants. Like, these little dead, crispy-looking ants. Mm-hmm. And that's, like, a thing. It sounds like a thing. Would you eat it? No. You'd eat it. Mm-mm. You tried bugs before. You didn't try those bugs when I ordered them? No. You made the boys eat them and then Nova tried one. No, it was tearing them up. Mm. I didn't That'd be a good mukbang, wouldn't it, guys? No, I'm not doing it. All insect mukbang. I'm not eating bugs. We don't say bugs around here. We say insects. I'm not eating them. Mukbang! Tomato, potato. Mm. I'm getting there. I don't know why I prefer these over the little drumettes. Because I've psychologically manipulated you into liking... The opposite of what you like. No, I'm, I'm just kidding. It'd be a great idea. Did you like those better? I, I like them all. Um, oh. Those are easier to eat. That's probably why I like them then. Well, you're eating them wrong. I'm 
not as savage as you. We're not savage. It's just called Survival 101. Yeah. What do you do when the zombies are at your door? Eat chicken this way. Mmm. This is like having, we're surrounded by studio lights, buffalo wings, and all our friends. Hi, friends. <laughs> Hi, friends. If you guys haven't yet, consider subscribing. We're going to be back every week. With a new meal. Well, until we run out of new meals, because we're on a keto diet, so you can't really eat. All you gotta do is turn a meatball into a hamburger patty. I wanna eat a hamburger patty. Then call it a meatball. Put cheese on the bottom one day and call put cheese it on top. Smushed ground beef. No. We can do um I wanna do some salads too. Some really Crunchy. good ones, yeah. Mm. With peppers. Mm. What kind? Green. That's not fun. Habanero. I'm not eating a habanero pepper in a salad. It would be interesting. Yeah. You do it, I'll film it. And no milk. Huh. Try that one. I almost killed myself. You are dying. Mmm. Let us know in the comments. As I chew. What's your favorite food? Buffalo wings. Yeah, right. Oh, not mine. Mine is probably tacos. I thought you were about to say prunes. Those two. Well, you said probably. <laughs> I hear things in advance and just... My poor mind... Mmm. Scrumptious. Wow. What? I'm starting to get full. I know, me too. I had to back off from the wings for a second. And eat a little silver because that heat was getting me. I told you they were hot. I'm eating them. No, I'm saying. I... My taste buds work. Earlier. I got sweat on my nose. Oh, did that happen? You know I sweat on my nose. They have habanero sauce on them. <laughs> Which ones? Only yours. That's some fine placement. Postpone the update. It's updating by itself. Oh! <coughs> that's the whole video? <laughs> well, maybe. Oh my god. Say goodbye. The damn computer just did an automatic restart and update. So, we lost the footage. We lost the feed! That's why we have a backup. It's just preposterous. I told you to postpone it. It didn't have a postpone option. That's why I hate this damn laptop. Desktops only. No. And I dropped my chicken. And my fingers are messy. That's our cue. Yeah. I'm about full. And my mouth is on fire. Mm. It'd be funny if the, the video footage was still saved. Maybe it will. Who knows? It'd be nice. Are the steak.
finger looking good. Mm. Look at my water bottle. It's all dirty. Slandered. From my fingers. Well, thank you guys so much for hanging out with us today. Be sure to let us know in the comments what your favorite foods are, what you'd like to see us try. Hit that thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Can be mukbang. We'll see you guys next week. See ya.